Doctors of Reddit, what's the biggest case of faking it you've ever seen? Dermatologist here. Patient was convinced she had a melanoma and needed a biopsy and would need to be on workers comp. I told her it looked like ink from a marker. She demanded a biopsy. I wiped the area off with an alcohol swab and showed her the ink and that there was no spot on her skin anymore. She stormed out threatening to sue. I'm just glad I cured her melanoma. We had a patient faking a seizure, so my supervisor told one of us to get the brain needle. The patient made a miraculous and swift recovery without intervention. That's the best part about most of these stories, when they make up some form of fake machine, so that the patient stops faking. Cracks me up every time. Physical therapist here. Working mom comes into the clinic with her infant in a stroller. She's limping like she's got a nail in her foot. Wincing in pain and tears in her eyes. She's crying during her visit with the PT. None of us think she's faking it. She limped out of the clinic. I glanced out of the window and saw this woman bounding down the sidewalk. Hips swaying, full stride, going places. We were all fools. We had a family calling for a medicap, a cab paid for by income based insurance from somewhere out in the sticks to our ER in a college town. Every few weeks or so, the mom would be seen for some ailments of the other, and the rest of the family would go to Walmart, go to the mall, do all their in-town errands. She was basically faking an emergency illness every few weeks, so they wouldn't have to pay for a cab to get their shopping done. Sorta of along the same idea, working at a pharmacy we saw a guy come in to try and get a refill on some pain meds that had no refill. After pleading that his ear really hurt we told him again we couldn't refill it. One of the other employees saw his step into a side hallway and take a pencil and jam it forcefully into his ear repeatedly, drawing blood. He calmly left and went to the ear. He came back a few hours later with a prescription for pain meds. Had a patient, when I was an intern feigning blindness. She would constantly be playing on her smartphone, only furiously trying to hide it when someone from the care team came into her room. The best was when my attending one day strolled PSG her room, and threw his hand up in a highly exaggerated, back quote hello, wave. She started to throw her arm up too, but caught herself halfway through, then threw her hand back into her lap and pretended to be back quote staring off into nothing. Whenever we had kids, usually teenagers, playing up their symptoms to extend their hospital stay, we would order them into a healthy lifestyle. Lights out at 9, no screen time for 2 hours before bedtime, healthy diet chock full of fruits and vegetables, screen time limits, minimum number of laps around the unit per day to get in their exercise. They got better so much faster with our healthy lifestyle tips. As a sick teenager, I never understood why other teenagers on the unit play things up. To stay longer I'm always begging to leave as soon as I possibly can. Nurse for an ophthalmologist here. Had a 21 year old new patient claiming to be completely blind from a sudden and severe glaucoma diagnosis from a previous unknown doctor. Would feel around while walking, tried to keep eyes rolled back into his head. The whole 9 yards. He said he is a famous YouTube rapper that is now unable to make videos or earn a living. I exclaimed to have heard of him before and very excitedly asked him to search and show me his YouTube channel on my phone so that I could subscribe. He took my phone out of my hand and effortless found the YouTube app and typed away in the search bar. Oh, and of course his eyes were back to normal and focused. One time my roommate, who is an IQ nurse, came to see one of my indoor soccer games. During the game a player on the other team went down hurt and starting screaming in pain and swearing and rolling around while holding his ankle before he was eventually helped off the field. He then limped over to where the fans sat and watched the rest of the game brooding in silence before he left early. After the game my roommate told me he was going to go over and see if there was anything he could do to help until he saw that the guy was limping on the wrong leg. Ophthalmology technician. People pretend to be blind all the time. 
go to check their eye pressure with the tonopin. A device you poke them directly into the eye with, and they go what the duck is that thing. Was told this one by a fellow nurse I used to work with, when we had a psych floor. It's not unusual for psych patients, to stash things in various orifices. This one woman was convinced she was impregnated by a ghost-like figure but no one would believe her. So one day she started complaining of massive pelvic and uterine pain. She called them contractions. So the doctor goes to do an exam. The doctor feels something larger in there, so they prep a table to get the object out which was quite large. So the wonderful third year helping with the procedure starts hearing this woman complain of contractions and yelling things like, should I push? I'm gonna start pushing. Doctor trying to work forceps around this woman's parts as to not hurt her. Finally goes got, and as he starts saying it, he pulls out a baby doll. Head only. The poor med student did the wobble. Went all flush, had problems keeping balance and about took a dive. I was told he didn't live that down the whole rotation. Obligatory not a doctor, I'm a nurse. We had a guy who had to come in every 3 months to get a medical certificate to say he couldn't work at his retail job due to severe disabling back pain. He was receiving large amounts of insurance money for this condition. After the doctor had done his usual examination and questions, and signed it off the guy, asks the doctor to check his shoulder which doc does, and asks how he injured it? Guy says playing rugby for a competitive team. Really says doc. How long have you been playing for them? Guy has been playing and training the whole time. Doc puts this info on insurance form. Doc loses his beep in staff room laughing. Next week the patient loses his beep in reception, because his insurance has been cancelled. I remember I faked it, when my brother got glasses, because I thought they were cool. Turns out I actually needed glasses. They found an astigmatism in my eyes. Who knew? My mom was an emergency room nurse. Years ago they brought a prisoner from the local penin who seemed to be unconscious. The guards were suspicious that he was faking it. They checked his vitals and everything seemed to be okay. The attending doctor tried poking him in the foot with something pointy, nothing. Then he got an idea, they took a rubber hose and inserted it in the back of his throat, as if they were intubating him. That did the trick he sat up very quickly coughing and gagging. Edit, yes, sternum rub, got it. I have a sort of opposite angle story for this one. A friend of mine is completely blind, as in, eyes removed as a toddler blind. She had a rare cancer. She's worn glass eyes her whole life, to keep the sockets from sinking in, as well as to limit the jarring appearance. Well, she had a new doctor she was seeing, so to speak, to get fitted for new glass eyes. I think that was why. When the tech brought her in, they told her they had to examine her eyes. Um and asked her to read the vision test chart. Um. She kept trying to explain she is blind blind, and they were stuck on examining her. Whoa, your pupils aren't responding. No sht. She finally got so frustrated, she popped one glass eye out and said here. Now you can check it out all you want. She apparently always would pull that gag on folks doubting her and or teasing her. She's awesome that way. I'm a nurse, but not a doctor. I had a patient who worked in a hospital, janitor, so he knew enough to fake a bit. He was seeking pain meds, complaining of chest pain, wanting morphine. He was worked up for everything cardiac and was fine. Then he tried to claim GI discomfort when he was being discharged. Cleared again for everything. Faked chest pain again. Cleared again. Now he's my patient. I'm a new face. He's telling me he's having abdominal pain. I call the doctor, knowing this guy's history. He says he'll be up to see him soon. This patient wants a ginger ale, some stomach ache. I decide to go to lunch. My coworker comes into the lunchroom, disgusted. This guy had taken a dump in a basin, and then dumped the ginger ale over it, and tried to tell her he'd had fecal vomiting. He obviously needed to lord it right now for the pain. I walked into his room and sure enough, a pile of SHT and a puddle of ginger ale. I told him I'd have to take away his food and drinks and we'd have to put an NG down. 
Suddenly he changed his tune. He admitted to faking it. Why do these people do what they do? Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. New videos every day. Check out our playlist.